My name is Mika. I'm standing in for Vanessa for today. This is In The Zone and right now I'm going to be chatting to my guest in studio. Welcome, Harry Welby Cook. How are you? Very well, thanks. How are you this morning? <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Excited to be chatting about something a little different that um, I don't usually, I normally do artist interviews. So this is cool. It's interesting because it's a, a big issue in South Africa. And of course, what we are talking about is unemployment. So the organization is called Action Coach, but the initiative is em- Everyone Employ One. Please tell me more about that, uh, where the idea came about. Yeah, so I think unemployment is something that we talk about in South Africa mm. and it's it's got more and more depressing, but we, yeah. we kind of ignore it. Yes. And and where it really came from, Action Coach is a is a global business coaching organization. And we, we work with entrepreneurs all day, every day. And mm. and the beauty about any business out there is if you grow your business, you employ more people. It's yes. as simple as that. And because of the frustrations of last year, you know, our unemployment figures have actually gone backwards and it's got really bad. So earlier this year when the unemployment stats came out and we, we now had uh, 11 million unofficially unemployed because we we like to talk about official employment and then unofficial so 11 million people but the official unemployment stat is 7.2 million and to be honest and i know you're not supposed to say this on radio but it's really born out of being Mm, (laughs) hurtful we we cannot have a future in our country if we don't address unemployment it's as simple as that and that's really where it was birthed from yeah is the being fed up with talking about the problem um, but not, nobody doing anything about it. Not doing too much about it, hey? I think it's, it's so interesting that you mentioned that. We we all talk about the unemployment rate. We are aware of it, but no one is really like getting into it and, and you know, doing the nitty-gritty work. So what is the aim of everyone and employ one? Well, the aim is to say, well, what can we do? Because mm-hmm. I think as, as South Africans, we like to moan about what the government's not doing, but what are we doing and what can we do? And the reality is, if you look at, I, I listened to the news earlier when you were reading it and, you know, we were very excited because we've, we've gathered another 38 billion in revenue that we didn't expect. Yes. Well, that's only 19 days less that we have to borrow money. Wow. We're borrowing money at almost 2 billion rand a day. It's only 19 days 19 less. 19 days less that we have to borrow I out of a year. I wish they put that in the <laughs> news bulletin. So it sounds like a good news story, but it's actually depressing. Mm-hmm. So even if we eradicate corruption and government gets to act together, we're really going to do nothing about unemployment. So wow. it was really to say, what can we do? And the reality is that's why it's called Everyone Employ One. If every one business out there employs just one person, that's all. Wow. That's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm encouraging everybody in South Africa to do. If you have a business, doesn't matter how big or small it is. Yes. If it's you're an informal trader, if you are a big corporate business or anything in between, one new employee each, mm-hmm. we will cut unemployment by 50%. 50. By 50%? 50. There's around 3.5 million businesses in all shapes, forms in South Africa. If every one employs a new person, wow. it's three and a half million new people to the job market, 7.2 million unemployed. We cut it by 50%. Now the reality is, it doesn't matter who's in power, not mm. in South Africa or anywhere else in the rest of the world, nobody's going to cut unemployment by 50%. Not in my lifetime. No. But I true. can do it. Yeah. And every listener listening to this can do it. And that's really the, the power of the campaign. That's incredible. Now, I know that proudly South African has expressed their support for this initiative and the organization. Are there any other organizations or businesses that's currently on board? Well, it's literally probably two weeks old, this campaign. So I think wow. Fresh. Friday before Easter Friday, yeah. we, we launched it first and foremost uh, publicly on uh, a Hersh's entrepreneurial breakfast. And the CEO of mm. uh, proudly South Africa and Mr. Eustace Mashimbe was on that with us. And um, Margaret Hirsch, the co-founder of Hirsch's, um, they behind us on that. And we're looking at opportunities to explore um, more exposure for it. Uh, Proudly South Africa have put their support behind it. And we've mm. got a meeting next week with their directors wow. to say, how do we roll it out? And we're looking for more people to partner with because it's purely awareness. We, we, we're doing a whole lot of videos next week mm-hmm. where we're going to give people the opportunity to say, well, if I like this idea, what do I do in my business to help me? Whether it's on the recruitment side, whether it's on growing my business to be able to afford it, whether it's saving money, it doesn't matter. Different mm. businesses have different needs on how to do it. But um, that's what we want. We want every single person to be aware of this issue, not just 
the throwaway stats. Yeah. Because if we look at 11 million people that are unofficially unemployed, there are only 15 million working South Africans. So if we look at them and say, well, 15 million working wow. have to look after themselves through the taxes they pay and have to feed government, which is quite an expensive little exercise, and then reciprocate and look after another 11 million people. Wow. And if we think about 11 million people, how many people is that? Well, that's almost as much as every single person living in KZN. Every single sure. person. It's more than the city of Soweto and the city of Cairo put together. Yeah. Every single person. So when we when we talk about these millions, and I think it's when we listen to the news, it's easy to do. We hear millions, we hear billions, we think, ah. We're so know, used to it, we, hey? We're used to it, we become numb to it, but but let's actually think about it. All right. Can you imagine being one of those eleven million unemployed people? Yeah. You have no choice. You have no options. You have nothing. Yeah. And I think the the power of the campaign is if you give somebody a job, you give them dignity, number one, mm-hmm. and you give them choice, number two. Okay. So if I'm fed up with a, with a really crappy er- education system for mm. my children, mm. if I have a job, I have the choice of sacrificing my own financial freedom yes. to put some money behind education. I can stand in the queue in the sun all day and get to the front of the clinic queue and they say, sorry, we've stolen the medicine. Or I can go pay for some medicine and I, I can empower myself. Yes. And I think that's really what we need in this country is stop waiting for other people to empower you. Mm. Let's us that can yes. create that platform where people can empower themselves. And a job does that. Preach. Mm. I so agree with that. So take me through the steps with this, right? I'm an individual. I just heard this interview now on Radio Helderberg. I've got a business. What is step one? Do I approach you guys? Do you take me through it? Or, or how does this work? Well, I think, you know, there's there's a whole lot of free resources on our website that people can look and see how they apply to their mm. business. Uh, there's a, a particular little doodle video, video, which is really short. It's probably five, six minutes. talks about how you can get 61% more profit in your business wow. by just doing basic little things. But I think the sad reality around business is we're looking to send people to Mars, mm. yet we still don't teach people how to run a business. Wow. That's the, yes. that's the scary thing about being in 2021. So you know, true. Mars race, but we don't teach unemployment and uh, we don't teach entrepreneurship. And I think the, the downside of business owners is they are passionate, positive people. Mm. And that's their beauty, but that's their downfall. Because mm. tomorrow comes and they go, well, I'll wake up earlier, I'll work harder, and I'll just see if I can do it. Well, sometimes you need support. Sometimes you need to go find resources. And they don't always have to be paid resources. You know, mm. there's a lot of free ones available. But I think the, the, the steps to take is the first thing to say, well, yeah, I like this idea. I, I can employ one person and do my part. Wonderful. Then set that as the intention. Between now and the end of the year, You want to employ one person. Have that as the goal. So it starts with a goal. Now you can say, okay, well, what kind of person am I looking for? What role? Where am I going to need them in my business? What's it going to cost? Good. Now I can start looking at how can I afford this? Because business owners are often wary of that. Well, what if I bring somebody on board and it doesn't work? What if I can't afford it? This is true. So a couple of rules of thumb. Mm -hmm. The first one is to say, how do you know you can afford the person? If you can afford half the salary, employ the person. Okay. Because we're at the beginning of April now. So if somebody started today, today was their first day at work, uh, the beauty is I only have to pay them on the 25th. Mm -hmm. So if I've got half the money for their salary already sort of available, them being there either helps generate the additional money in the month to afford their salary or the other half, or it frees up time for me as the business owner to go make the extra money to afford their salary. Yes. So that's a good rule of thumb. If you've got half the, the money, you should be employing people. The other thing that we, we're scared of is is recruitment. How mm. do you find good people? How do you know they're the right people? Maybe I need to wait before I recruit. No, run an advert today. Yes. Whether you mm. recruit by advertising, whether you recruit by a recruitment consultant, doesn't matter. Run it today because just because I've interviewed you today and you're the perfect person for the job, doesn't mean you have to start tomorrow. Right. I can like you and say, geez, you're brilliant. I need you to start in my business. Can you start the 1st of September? Mm. And people go, well, that's still a long way away. 
Exactly. <laughs> so you've got more than enough time to finish it where you're currently working or if you're not working, you can do some pre-training. You can get used to the organization. I've got time to get my company structured to take you on board uh, and you don't have to start tomorrow. Mm. People think, well, I recruit today. I'm going to find the right person tomorrow. They're going to start in May. Yes. No, that's not kind of how it works. So mm. just change your thinking around that. Wow, fantastic. It's been great chatting to you, and You really got me thinking because it's so true. We hear all of these numbers on the news and we read it in the news bulletins about unemployment and no one is actually getting into it and being, okay, how do we actually do this? I mean, of course, they have these big you know, conferences and, <laughs> and these big things, but we don't really hear about actual plans that are in place and structures that will work towards creating more job opportunities and uh, more employment in South Africa. So thank you so much for this incredible initiative. Where can listeners go to find out more information and really get involved? Yeah, so the best for now is to go to actioncoach.co.za. Yes. On the home page, you'll see a lot of information. Uh, we're adding to it all the time. Like I said, next week there'll be some videos out with some additional information. In the meantime, download the free resources, do what you need to do. Yes. But if every one of us do our bit, mm. everyone will cut unemployment by 50%. And then you and I will have a future. Our children will have a future. Wow. But if we don't address unemployment, there's very little that's going to no fix no. this. So there is a, it is a no-no. <laughs> so do your part. And I'm going to do my part. And I dare every single business out there to do theirs. And then we will fix the problem. Fantastic. It's Harry Welby Cook chatting to me in studio about their action plan from Action Coach, of course. Everyone, employ one. Thank you so much for chatting to me, Harry. I right. hope someone out there heard and they are really keen to make a difference. And I will be prompting the website throughout the show just so that people can get on board and and really let's let's do this as South Africans let's actually do this all right perfect